Hey guys, I get a lot of questions from a lot of you about just art journaling basics. Things that when you start art journaling, nobody tells you. Or painting. I had no idea that when you started painting on canvas that when you were done, you should like put a clear protective coat over anything. I had no idea. Nobody said anything. I didn't know what the proper way to clean a paintbrush was. Nobody said anything. So I have in the past done a few um, sort of art basics videos and had videos about how to clean a paint, what, how I clean my paintbrushes, how I uh, clean my stencils and that sort of thing. In fact, my jar is full. I've got to go do that today as soon as I'm done here. One of the questions I've gotten lately is, what do you mean wax your pages? How do you do that? What do you use? I've answered that question actually quite a lot lately. So I thought I would just film it for you all. So here we are. This is my uh, large delusions journal I've been working on this year, in this year. And I have quite a few pages that need to be waxed. You can always tell because I stick deli paper in there or wax paper in there until I can get to it. That's what all these sheets are that are sticking out. So we are going to Go to a page. We'll do this one. This is a page I just did for the Art Snacks um, um, blog hop video, which is coming out on, um, or has come out on November 3rd. Um, by the time you see this, it'll already have been out. Um, and you can see how exactly I did this page. But what I do is, this is Daddy Vans all natural unscented beeswax furniture polish. This is what I use. Um, I learned how to do this from Shannon Green. If you don't know who Shannon Green is, oh my God, people, where have you been? <laughs> Go here to YouTube to the little search box up above and type her name in. And she's a really great mixed media artist. And this is what she used, which I thought was just fabulous. Cause right away when I started journaling, if you guys all haven't noticed yet, that as soon as you're, even though your page is dry, if the book is closed for a while, the pages stick together. Some of the mediums and the acrylic paints um, stick really well to each other. It's not what you want. So to prevent things from sticking and ruining your work and ripping your pages apart, and if you've been journaling for a while and not doing this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mod Podge is like the worst. Um, so what you do is you just take a little bit of this wax on a paper towel and literally just rub it all over your page. Now, if you have chalk pastels or oil pastels on there, this is gonna ruin them. So you probably want to spray it with a fixative and then omit doing this because you don't wanna be rubbing on your page. And then I would suggest putting a piece of wax paper in there um, or deli paper. I have some Stabilo pencil on here. So I'm gonna wax both sides. And the wax gives it a protective coating um, so that the pages will no longer stick to each other and I can close the book in all confidence and know nothing will be ruined and I don't have to keep the paper in there. So that's it, that's how you do it. You let it dry a little bit and then close your book and you're good to go. All right, so waxing your pages, it's a good thing. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing besides checking out the description below and maybe think about doing one of the things down there to support my channel. There's one other important thing. Go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself. Like maybe buy some Daddy Vans wax for your journal pages. And uh, I'm almost, uh, this one's almost empty. Good thing I have another one. And uh, that's it for right now. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys. <laughs>